What's up everybody, it's Rob and I'm back with another Foundry video giving you guys some more tips and tricks and modules that I use in my Foundry games. This week's Foundry video is about the quick insert search widget. It was actually recommended to me by one of my players. He uses it in his game and I think it's actually a really useful search widget. I know there's a few of them out there. I use this one. I think there's other ones you can definitely use as well. That's the beauty of, for of Foundry. There is no one way you have to do anything. Now, the way what this module does is this module essentially allows you to search through the journals, the compendiums, whatever, for something that you want. Playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition or playing like D&D 5e that has so many rules and other things it's good to be able to just search something pretty quickly. So what you can do in your, when you're in the game, you hit control space, it opens up a little search window, and then you just look up whatever you want. So you wanna look up a spell, mind blank, boom, it's right there, and it'll open it for you. And then you can read it. Or say you wanna open up, you know, maybe there's, a, there's an action or a feat that you forgot about what it says. Lingering composition. Here you go. And you can go to the composition spell from there. And it says everything right there for you. But this lets you go through the compendium. You can as well. I'll do it. This is a player view right now, but I'll show you the GM side as well. I believe you can look up just enemies as well, possibly. So this is the player side. So from the player side, you can't actually see any of the beast areas kind of in the game. And so then that way your players can't look up and search monster stats on the fly. That would be a bit cheating. So that's good. That's get removed. I'm going to hop over to the GM side of things and show you guys how it looks on that side. All right. So we are back with the GM side of things. Obviously, there's a bit more stuff on the screen going on, but same thing with the control search object. And you can see I can look up similar whatever I want. So if I want to look up wall of fire, I can look up wall of fire. If I want to look up a creature, so say I want to look up animated dragon storm because it's from Age of Ashes and it's from the actor I, I have, it'll actually open up the stat sheet for the creature. Now again, this is on the GM side only. This is not on the player side. We're gonna hop over to the settings. Let's just kind of show you guys the settings for the module. And it's actually pretty simple, quickly things. Um, the index settings allows you to pretty much choose what people can look at. So if there's journal entries, items, actors, it's normally what players can look at, but they can't, they can't like search scene names and this is also like all the different bestiaries and different compendiums that come with Pathfinder. And you can pick and choose what you want people to actually be able to look at. This is a customized filter. This allows you to put specific filters if you want on the thing. I, I mean, you can if you want, depending on if you really want a focused search, you can do that. But I think leaving it all as is is pretty Easy, as you saw, the quick insert doesn't take much time to actually look it up, so there's no point. GMs only. Um, this actually, if you toggle this, that means only you as a GM can actually do it. That your players can't do it at all. The character sheet integration is allows you to essentially search through the character sheet. It, it'll actually put a search feature in there but it is only available for, I believe, D&D 5e and the tidy character sheet. So, so like play Pathfinder, it does not actually work in this particular game. Um, wait until first open is kind of the indexing. Um, so what you can do is you can index or everything before in the background. So then that way, when they go to look at it, it automatically is, it, it loads faster. That is good for Pathfinder because Pathfinders have a lot of stuff, but if you're not, they're not using that often, there's no need to have it indexed right away. So I have it on the first open, times out after a while. I got a search button for the scenes. I don't, I don't keep many scenes open, so that's not a big deal. 
global browse mode allows you to just browse whenever you want. You, the keybind will open it, even if there's not a specific thing it's attached to. And then these are just the default settings, which kind of allow you to choose how you, if you want to configure or edit tables and macros when you open them. And you can change these to either roll the table or roll the macro and execute it, or just kind of activate a scene. Probably best to keep those at edit and configure for now. The point of this module is that it really helps to look up something, especially if there's a lot of rules in the game that you are trying to play. A game like Pathfinder has so many different rules, actions, feats, spells, abilities, and being able to go, wait a minute, what were the rules for grapple again? And then I can go, oh, okay, here's grapple, boom, done. You know, what was the rule for XYZ? Boom, done. And what's good about it is that I usually in my games have like Archers of Nethys, the, the Pathfinder like open source website out there. And I usually use that to kind of reference my notes, reference things if I need to. I forget this is in the game path sometimes and I should keep it open. So many times I'm looking up stuff on Archers of Nethys which takes a while to load sometimes. Well, I can just go in here and go, oh yeah, what does Legend Lore do again? What's the actual rules for Legend Lore? Here we go, you know? And that's the usefulness about it. It's a very useful, very quick, easy module that'll help you sort through all your material. It does matter depending on what kind of system you have it in. I have it in my City of Mist game as well. And that one doesn't have the rulebook because the rulebook isn't built into that compendium right now, but it does have the like, the theme books all in there. So someone looking for like a playbook to pick what kind of questions and what kind of character to build can easily look it up pretty easily, as well as all the player moves and the cinematic moves, etc. So there's quite a lot over there for that. So that's really good in that sense. Do you guys use this module? Do you guys use any other modules besides the quick insert that to help you search things in the game? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more Pathfinder content, more Foundry content, and of course, more tabletop content. Thank you guys for watching this video.